Today, Mike isn't biased at all and critiques your vlog channels. Yeah, Mike's about as unbiased as Fox News. <clears throat> what? Nothing. What is up everyone? My name is Zesty Mike and today we're going to be kicking off our Monday critiques. I decided to break things down by genre to make things a little bit more organized. Today, we're starting with vlogs because I like vlogs and I'm a vlogger. Vlog. First off, we have Ron's Rekka who submitted his video, A Trip to Enchanted Kingdom, which essentially is a mixture between a sit down and talk vlog and a walk and talk vlog. Instead of telling the story as he goes, he narrates it later. Personally, I feel like he did a really good job at it. He added music which helped pace the video really well. However, the music can be a little bit loud at times. But overall, it was a nice addition. So when you're editing, make sure you check your audio levels and make sure that you can actually clearly understand yourself over top of the music. But keep in mind, you know what you're saying, so it might be easier for you to understand it rather than a person who's heard it for the first time. I also enjoyed that you added comedy throughout the vlog. I feel it really worked for you. This one is the most scariest. Look at my face. Let's look at this video. Now I can't tell you if this would make your videos better or not, this is more so something for you to try, but I feel like you'd be really good at a walk and talk type vlog instead of sitting down and narrating it later. You seem to have a really good personality and comfortable talking to the camera, so this might be something good for your channel and might be something fun to try. Now before we get to the next video, remember that you can click the links in the sidebar to see the full video and you guys can let them know what you think of their videos as well. Next up we have Gamers for Life. He submitted his video, The Beginning of a New Adventure in 4K. He takes us on a tour of his office, his house, and a few other things. First off, vlogging in 4K, props to you. Accent, props to you. Working on your own computer, props to you. And good delivery, props to you. However, there's a couple things that you should look for when you're making your vlogs. It looks as though your audio and your video aren't properly synced. It's probably off by like half a second, which can actually be really distracting for viewers. I noticed that sometimes recording at higher resolutions can mess with your audio capture and sometimes make it go out of whack. So maybe try turning down the quality a little bit and see if that helps fix your audio or you can try and resync it in post. Secondly, this is something you have to learn over time and that is, and that is learning your camera. Learn where the mic holes are and learn your camera lens so you can get an idea of what you're aiming at. I noticed a couple times when you were switching hands, you would cover up one of the mics with your finger or something and it would make it muffled and hard to hear. Or a couple times when you were vlogging you were actually aiming at something other than what you were meaning to aim at. So this is something that the viewer might start to notice and actually get distracted by. So when you're editing try and make mental notes of different things that you notice throughout your vlogs and then next time you go out to vlog try and adjust this so you don't have these issues in the future. Next up we have Zach Saint who submitted one of his videos from this year's VEDA. It's titled Random Meetups at Coffee Shops. First off, love the energy that you put into the vlogs. You can tell that you really care about what you're doing, which is important. Just by being positive and having a strong energy, viewers will connect to you easier and be able to enjoy your videos all the better. I love the bicycle montage and you seem to have a really good eye for editing. In your submission, you said that you record in 720 and export at 1080, but the video itself is only uploaded at 480. So there's something off with your export settings. Also, there's nothing wrong with exporting at 720. In fact, it'll give you a better picture if you do this. Now in your video submission, you asked specifically about vlogging in stores and how often you get asked not to vlog. Now personally, I love this question because more times than not you hear, how are you comfortable vlogging in public, not will I get in trouble in public? So this means you want to vlog in public, you're just worried about getting in trouble. So props to you. Now in my 600 days of vlogging on my vlog channel, not to mention all the vlogs I did on other channels, I only got asked not to vlog twice. One of them being in Chinatown, which most everywhere in Chinatown, you'll see signs that say no photography, especially in gift shops, and they are very strict about it. I learned this the hard way when I did not notice the sign. They about kicked me out. The other time was when myself and four other vloggers were in a mall and doing a little vlog game that we came up with. We went into a clothing store and dressed each other in random clothes that we picked out for the other vlogger. We used their dressing rooms, we used their clothes, and I actually used their employees for a couple parts. The manager found us and kindly asked us not to vlog anymore after we were done with our game. And in our defense, we'd probably be fine if I didn't round up their employees and make them participate in our game because they were kind of on the clock. So my advice to you is if you don't see a no photography sign, you shouldn't have to worry about it. More times than not, stores will actually be excited that they're getting free promotion. Not to mention it might be good promotion for yourself if people ask you what you're doing. Remember, as long as you're not doing anything illegal, the worst that they could tell you to do is not to vlog. 
put away your camera. But anyways, guys, that's it for today's critique. Don't forget to click the links in the sidebar to check out the full videos. And of course, submit your videos to this critique by using the link in the description below. And remember, spamming gets you nowhere. The comment section is for love, learning, and growing together. As always, I will not be picking anyone from the comment section. I'm only going to be picking from the submission form and the link in the description below. If you want to see more of my tips and tricks, you can click the link in the sidebar for a full playlist of all the different stuff I've done on this channel. And of course, if you want to see more of me, you can click the link in the description below and visit my channel where I post up videos every single day. We'll see you tomorrow. See ya. Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.